As you can see, it is obviously time for me to do another photo card storing video. It doesn't feel like it's been too long since the last one of these, but in that time, it has been long enough, clearly, for me to assemble quite the stack. I don't remember the exact number of cards, but it is over 40, 46 maybe. Eh, it's a lot to deal with. So we are dealing with that today. In addition to all these cards, there's actually a new binder I'll be showing off in just a couple minutes related to my first set of cards. As always, we start with Red Velvet and Sulgi. The last time we just had this binder, this is a pretty new binder. You can see me set it up in my recent photo card binder reorganizing thing. But by the end of that video, I kind of realized that it was too small, even though I thought I was getting a bigger binder than the one that my collection was previously stored in, it was too small. And with all the merch stuff I was getting, it was only going to get bigger. So I got myself a separate binder specifically for merch, even though I think this car, this is not merch, but we're still, we're still reorganizing these things. So we'll get to this in a minute because we do have some red velvet album cards to deal with but i figured a merch binder was probably the way to go just because the the album card collection is pretty well taken care of at this point we have a few gaps like we're still missing glitter tears we will probably always be missing glitter tears but there aren't that many albums and not many cards per album coming out these days so I felt like this was a binder that probably wouldn't grow a huge amount, but the merch collection would be. So now all album cards, not only Sulgi, but full group Red Velvet will live in this binder. And then everything that's not from an album will live in that, that other binder, which we'll, we'll get to. But to start off, we have the final SMCU portrait photo card for Sulgi. So now I only need to go and get the the previous years, the SMCU Express, where I'm missing her full all SM, SM Town version and her ID. Um, this card might be a little tricky, but hopefully I can get it. And then we have two cards for Got the Beat, which I got recently in a Mercari Japan order. Um, the last time I bought from Mercari Japan, I got the two red cards. These are the stamp version, I believe, and then these are the beat version. So now I am considering got the beat to be complete because I'm not playing to get the SM Mini. I'm just trying to figure out, like, where do I want? Yeah, I think I think we'll do that, that order, like that, like so. And I decided not to get the SM Mini mostly for two reasons. One, because I have I already have like a nice four layout, and two, because it's very similar to this card. It's just Silky's making a kissy face. I don't fully collect anyone, and I figured an SM Mini, Smini, whatever those things are called, um, I could go without one of those cards, as if it if it helped my layout. Just like for birthday, I actually got it because it did help my layout. So I have all the cards, including the S-Mini. So it's really just kind of up in the air whether I will get S-Mini cards in the future. Is, is this everything? No, one second. I do have one Sulgi thing for the larger inclusions, which is this. Her like portrait photo from Got the Beat. There's nothing on the back. If you watch my Mercari haul, you'll know that I ended up with two got the beat albums that I did not need. And one of them did have the full Sol Solgi inclusions. So I'm not mad about that, even though this, like everybody's, my my little portrait photo got a, a little dent in it from the paper clip. I'm not really sure what SM was thinking, putting a metal paper clip in an album, but that's how it goes. All right, and that is it for Solgi album cards this time. Now we have a few red velvets things. So for starters, we are finishing up our set for the Velvet. This is Yeri's The Velvet card. Very, I don't know, a very untraditional photo card. 
Yuri tends to sometimes not do selfies more so than than other members but this is like a particularly not selfie card this almost feels like a like a concept card like this could have been an image in the album com especially compared to the other other members and then we also have a wendy card as you can see for our rookie set this actually came from my friend liz she had her own mercari order not that long ago and I don't even remember what this... She got like a huge set of just random cards and it had a Wendy. And I happened to be watching her live stream. She was like, hey, Jeff, do you need this Wendy card? And I checked and it's like, yes, actually, I do. So she sent it along over to me along with a few other things that I will uh, point out. More, more Luna type things. Okay, and then we are working a bit on the Wendy Like Water set. So I decided when I heard that Wendy was having a solo comeback that I would probably take the plunge and finally get her solo album cards. I'd been kind of kicking around doing both her cards and Joy's solo cards um, in the future just because I'm doing so well on Solgi and a lot of other things. These were sort of like an expansion on my collection I wanted to do. And last time I did a Mercari Hall, I went and I found a few of her cards and I'm just going to do a bit of reorganizing. I'll have to get a new page for Joy as well. Uh, is there any obvious difference between these cards? Because I have the case version. No, each of these messages is different. So let me look at my template real quick. Okay, so it looks like this is her photo book version. And then these other two are from the case. So just to make things a little bit easier for me right now, I'll have to fix this again later. But I think what I will do is we'll just do two spots for photo book, two spots for case. And then we've got like some of her extra cards that we can put on the next page with, um, with Joyce cards. Eventually, as I get more, I'll add pages as needed. And then we also have her clear card. Very pretty. And then this card, which came with my case version, it's like the message card, I think. I forget what it's called, but I, I kind of got the impression that it was sort of a first press only. It's not on every template, which makes me think that after a while, it's not something you get. I'm not positive about that though. So, and then we have our two joy cards. So yeah, really looking forward to working on this little expanded collection and especially looking forward to Wendy's next album. I was a big fan of like water. Okay, I think, okay, that is it for photo cards. I do also as part of that Mercari order, I got this little envelope full of stuff and it had three more things. So we have a bookmark from Like Water and then two postcards. I believe I have a spot for the bookmark next to another Wendy bookmark right here. So I'm just gonna slide that in there. I think there is a second Wendy Like Water bookmark. We'll see if I get that. It's not a huge priority, but I might pick it up. And then I will just put in a little postcard sized pocket and put in these two mini postcards. So yeah, so that is it for the album inclusions. Now let me get that other red velvet binder out and I will give you a quick little walkthrough of the new merch binder before we put away these cards. All right, and as I briefly showed you, this is the new merch card and merch other things binder for Solgi and Red Velvet. It's pretty empty right now. I mean, not as empty as it could be. There's a lot of postcards and stuff in here. But right now we have some season's greetings. We have hollow cards, which is a collection I'm working on. Um, we have some pre-order benefits and other like merch stuff. 
Um, it could use a little bit more organizing, but like I said, it's still it's still a new thing and it'll get better as as it gets filled out. But to start, we have a new hollow card and the little standee that comes with it. So I joined a go where somebody was selling a whole set of the Solgi um, holo cards and standees. Some of them had standees or postcards, whatever it came with. Some of them didn't. Uh, most of what I still need was already claimed, but somebody had not claimed the bad boy, the perfect red velvet set. So I figured I should at least grab that to move along my progress on this. I am missing... I think I have about half of the cards, maybe a little bit more. I have a couple more coming. There's one for the most recent Got the Beat, as well as their Concert R2V. And then there's a few other albums I'm missing, notably the other two Reva Festival albums, and I missed the opportunity to get her 28 Reasons. So I'm on the lookout for that. And then I will take this very pretty postcard and we will put it at the very beginning of all of these. Where are my big pockets? Nope, that's not it. Here we go. Okay. Just slide that on in. And then there are a couple more cards. Let's see. So these are both pre-order benefits. One of these is for 28 Reasons. This is another Mumo card. I have one of her Mumo cards already, which is this one. And then this is the hollow pre-order benefit from Aladdin for Got the Beat stamp on it. And in order to make this work, I'm gonna have to shift some things around. So let's do that. And I'll start just putting in this Mumo card since I'm just going to put it right here. And then let's see. And these aren't even pre order benefits back here. This is merch stuff. These are her anniversary lucky card set. So then these are both birthday. So let's do like so. Birthday. birthday and got the beat okay still a few more of pobs for both birthday and got the beat I'd like to get but they're hard I'm not putting a huge amount of effort into it just kind of as I see them for a good price and then I think I'll put these merch cards behind these other merch cards because why not um All right, and that I think is gonna do it for Solgi. I don't see anything else on my desk, so I think we have managed to put everything away. You will definitely see this binder. This is your first time seeing this binder, but this will definitely not be the last time. There is so much more Solgi merch to get and more of it on the way. All right, and now for something that I haven't really had much to put away in for a while. It's my Luna binder. My Kim Lip and various other Luna members binder. So we have had some good news, especially for the Odd Eye Circle girls. In fact, they're going to have a comeback next month, July. And I have not decided exactly how I'm going to collect that album. We also don't know how many versions there are going to be, how many cards, but I'm sort of tentatively interested in doing full Odd Eye Circle like I've done for the pre-debut Odd Eye Circle. You know, I have their three cards and their, their group card. If it's a reasonable amount, I think my limit is probably going to be around one card per member if there's like four versions. So, like, two pages total. I think I can do that. 
But if it starts getting to be anything more than that, I will probably just stick to Kim Lip. I know I don't collect a lot of people, but I do try to keep my collections to uh, what I think of as a reasonable level. But I am definitely very excited for that comeback, have new Luna music, new Kim Lip, new Odd Eye Circle, new Jin Soul, new everything. We're all very excited. Also excited because I have quite a few Luna cards. Here's my little stack of Luna cards. And I have a couple other non-card Luna things that I'll get to. And starting off, we are finally, finally, finally finishing Luminous. Uh, it only cost me getting an extra hula hoop card that I don't need, but for their Japanese albums, we are we are done. And I'm very excited to have this page complete because this was surprisingly difficult. Maybe it was just about the timing. Maybe it's the fact that it's a Japanese album and less people buy them. But I had a much easier time getting hula hoop stuff. Again, maybe it's because there were only two cards than getting the luminous stuff. The member cards were easy. Limited, I managed to find a trade, but I needed to buy this card and they just were not out there. It was very frustrating, but that frustration is over. The hunt is done and we can move on as a people, as a society, as collectors. Luminous is over. All right, and then we have a bunch of concert card stuff. So this is something I don't think I've talked about, but it's something I've wanted to do. I have Kim Lip's card for, and sorry, as I look for it, the Midnight Festival Concert. Where is that? This Midnight Festival Concert. And all of the cards for the girls are very pretty. There's only 11 member cards, but there is a 12th card that's a group card, so it is going to fit like nicely on a page. It would have been nice if there was a hostile card, but that's just sort of Luna's history. She was gone. So uh, this was something, like I said, I always wanted to do. I just needed to start actually getting the other members' cards. And I grabbed a bunch from a seller on Instagram. And so now we're going to actively start collecting them. So here's a new page. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm putting it here, it's because I do sort of have, this section is sort of like concert showcase stuff. So this is hash. And then after hash is, it's midnight, right? Yeah, the So What album, I believe, right? Is midnight So What? No. It is not so what, is why not? Which one's, is hash? Hash must be the so what. Well, so this is the Midnight Festival Showcase and it comes after hash. So it is going to chronologically in my binder come after hash. And then after this is the Luniverse From, Luniverse From, which is a later concert. So Heejin, Hyunjin, Hustle. Oh no, there's no Hustle. So Yojin will have to go here. That's going to throw me off. And she's upside down. And then Vivi. And Kim Lip. Jin Sol. And Cherry. Great. So, like I said, we'll be actively working on this. I did try to get a few more cards before this video, but I was a little too slow. Somebody else got them. I'm hoping I can find them for a good price. The prices are all over the place. Sometimes they're very reasonable. Sometimes people want like 15 bucks for them, which is just ridiculous. Definitely will not be paying those kind of prices. And then I don't know exactly where I want to put the next set, so I think I might put it like maybe at the end of the concert sets, because the other idea I've had for a while is Luna has two concert photo books. So I already have one from their most recent concert, which is this one. 
and there's a second one that goes with this. And then these are from an earlier photo book. This is from True Orbit. So I wanted to do another six page with those two sets, as well as another pair of concert cards, which I also have one of. I'll have to go back and grab it. And then, yeah, I think we'll do like so. And then the other card I need is this one. Because I've always had trouble figuring out what to do with this. This is from the Luniverse On Wave and Concert Showcase. There's a bunch of stuff that comes with this, but there is a normal photo card, which is like, which is this one, and there's a VIP card, which I almost got one time, but I missed out on. And so I always kind of wanted that pair, and now I feel like I can have this, this, and this, and they're all kind of concert related, even though four of them were photo books and two of them are like birch. I don't know. It makes sense to me. Hopefully it makes sense to you. And then the last bit is all like pre-order cards. So let's see. This definitely needs a bit of work. Why don't I just flip these things around? Just because it is sort of silly. They probably should go in some sort of like chronological order, but that's too much of a hassle right now. And then we have, what is it? Three, three pre-order cards. So these are, which one is, this must be an and card. I can't remember honestly, but they clearly go together. I like to try to keep these in, in order. So I'll do the best I can. Maybe I'll put it in between just in case one's midnight and one is and it won't matter either way. Okay, so this is midnight. Very pretty. I actually wanted this card for a long time. This is like, she's in her outfit where she's like floating in the field, surrounded by the moons. And then, so this is the one that we don't know for sure, at least off the top of my head, whether it's Midnight or Anne. So I'm gonna put that right here. It kind of goes, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's and. So why don't I do like this? Okay, and then we have flip that cards. Um, we'll put this hollow next to the hollow, and then we'll put these two on the back. This is, this is round two. I believe these are sound wave, but it's definitely, this is round two and this is round three. Okay, that is it for Kim Lip. We do have one more card, which is this very pretty VV card. Um, you guys know, like I like, I like all of them, but I'm not a VV collector, but as part of something else I got from my friend Liz, she bought some things for me on Mercari Japan. And one of them came with this VV card from with drama, with drama. Yeah. 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 So I'm not going to worry about like chronological order. We're just going to slide her next to another pretty photo card of VV and move on to our other fun collection, which is these, these are also with drama pre-order benefits. These are like little photo strips, two photo photo strips. And I have a few, I have like three of these. So we have Hustle and we have Yojin and we have Vivi. So I think we're actually, um, yeah, are we, I think we're completing this page. We're actually doing really well on this. We're only missing two now. So, slide in Hustle, and then after Hustle comes Yojin. And then Vivi. So yeah, we're only missing Jinsoul, who is very hard to get, and Chu, who is also very hard to get. I did reach out to somebody about a chew, but they wanted too much. Even when I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have done this. I told them that like what I have been paying for the photo strips and they seemed unmoved by my um, request for a lower price. What can you do? But yeah, 
We're doing so well on the Luna Kimlip collection. I am though a little worried about my binder because it is pretty full with Artemis, Odd Eye Circle. I don't know exactly how many more cards this binder can fit. I might have to temporarily put the Odd Eye cards in my like miscellaneous binder. We'll see, we'll figure it out. But that is it for Luna this time. Now let's go on to Twice. All right, and Twice. We've made a decent amount of progress on this. I have a few more cards this time. Not a huge amount, but enough. We're, we're working on kind of filling in some gaps on the album card collection, but we are basically caught up with ready to be, just missing that message card. So now we're just on old eras again, with the first one being Eyes Wide Open, where we have three cards, I think, starting with this card from the music video set. And then this page, which I'm very excited about because we're going to have a very cohesive page because everything on here is going to be like the retro concept. So we have this, the other solo card for her, and then this one of the other unit cards. I grabbed the Najung Mo line card, and then I picked up the Chewy Jihyo Sana card. I really wish the, the final card was not landscape, because I honestly would probably get that one too, but it's going to seem really weird in this. Maybe if I ever moved to a nine pocket, I would just kind of suck it up and get it so it would fill out the page. But for now, I kind of like how this looks. I think that looks really nice, very cohesive, very satisfying. And then next we have a card for more and more. We have this lovely Momo card. And we'll see if I get any more, more and more cards. There are at least another four. I just am undecided whether I want to leave it at one page or expand to the next one. I will, uh, I will keep you guys posted if I change my mind. Then nothing for feel special. I don't know why I just like never make progress on feel special. Um, but then we are expanding a little bit in the yes or yes section. So. As you can see, I've got this card back to back. It's never really something I was crazy about. And last time I was on Mercari Japan, oops, I put that one in upside down. I was seeing some of the yes or yes cards and thought, oh, those, those, those cards look so good. Maybe, maybe I should get three more cards and then I can kind of like fill out the, the page a little bit. And I think I, I'm, I think just for layout, I'm going to pull everything out because I think there's going to be some reorganizing happening. But yeah, so we had these four cards and now we have three more. Let's figure out what the best layout for these are, because I know Momo is wearing some similar outfits in these cards. So I think what we're going to want, since it's like black border, black border, is this. And then this is like the same outfit. So I think we're going to do that. There we go. And then how shall we do the back side? So maybe like so, or like, yeah, I, I think that works. Th Cause these are like a little bit darker. The other one's a little brighter. We definitely want these two like bottom border cards next to each other. All right, yes. So a few more cards, yes or yes. Probably this might be it for yes or yes. Not sure, we'll see. Not done with Summer Nights, but we are doing one of the hardest what is love cards. This yellow dress, the La La Land dress. This card just is so elusive. Everyone wants it and it makes it very hard to find. And if you do find it, to find it for a decent price. And then one of the other things I got from Liz 
was a bit of a surprise. I'm not really sure what to do with it, but she sent along this Momo card from the twice to gram Merry and Happy album. I guess this is sort of pushing me over the edge to collect Merry and Happy because I have been unsure for a long time about what to do for that album. Although it is a little out of order, I think I'm just going to slide it right here. I need to think more about my layout now that I've got to incorporate Merry and Happy. It could be that maybe I just keep this card and move Sana with the other non-collect members because she does sort of break the pattern I was going for when I did all my reorganization, but I did kind of like having the two Instagram cards next to each other, but maybe that doesn't make sense. I don't know. It's tough to figure these things out sometimes, but that is it for album cards because we're, we're at the end. But we do have a couple non-album things. I have two pre-order benefits. These are both of Momo's with Moo cards for ready to be. We have the normal photo book version and the digipack version. And I think I have a spot for it right here with my between one and two holo cards. Kind of like Momo, not Momo, Sulgi. There are other pre-order benefits for this album and definitely some lucky cards that I am interested in, but they are not a priority. It's just sort of, if I can find them for a good price, I will definitely pick them up, but I never expect to get everything that is released. Okay, um, we have one more Momo thing, which will be in kind of like the miscellaneous section. We have her second light stick card. This is her Japanese Candy Bong Infinity light stick card. And I'm going to swap her previous light stick card over and then just put that there. And then for this card, I think I'll just have to double side it like probably just over here. Don't really want to put in a whole new page for one card, but I'm sure I'll get more stuff to fill this out at some point. So that is the Momo section for this video. Gosh, this binder is feeling kind of like red velvet. It's feeling very thick, not, not dangerously so, but it's definitely full. I kind of want to say it's a good thing they are busy touring right now because I don't know how many more album cards I could fit in here and I say that knowing full well that I would really love to collect the Japanese album cards for Momo. I just don't know if that's gonna work in this binder. Maybe like Red Velvet I'm gonna have to figure out a like two binder solution. I guess that leaves my final binder which is the everyone else I either collect or just randomly get an album so let me go grab that. Okay, last binder, last binder of the day. We have no new Yukika, still waiting to hear if and when she will release a, a new album. Supposedly she's working on one, but there has not been any real news about that since the initial tweet or whatever it was, the post about her working on more music. But we do have some more stuff for WJSN. So let's start off with this Sola card. I actually got this from Miss Sonaverse. I don't know if she bought a bunch, but she clearly bought some Neverland albums for Unso cards and had an extra Sola that I was like, well, at some point I'm going to get Neverland, even though this breaks my rule about like not buying cards. If I don't have the album, especially if I intend to buy the album, because I could end up pulling it, but it's hard for me to resist buying from somebody that I trust if they have something that I want. And actually, this is out of order. I didn't even think about that, because Neverland is for unnatural. So, all right, new Sola card. And then the big thing we're working on is WJS and the Black. It's kind of the collection that I am most satisfied with, regardless of what may or may not happen with WJSN. They have officially renewed. I think I talked about that in one of my previous videos, but they're also not really doing anything. Various members are active 
Yoram is currently on the Queendom Puzzle Show, and I think Da Young is on some sort of variety show. Bona's been in a drama or two, but there hasn't been any music announcements, and maybe it's just because they're all so busy, but... As a a fan of their music, I was kind of hoping for a comeback by this point. But regardless of what happens, I have committed myself to finishing my WJSN The Black collection, and we've got quite a bit of progress on that. So we have this Sola solo card from The Black Concept, the actual like, there's like a black, a blue, and a white concept. This is The Black Concept. And we're actually finishing the page with this Unso card, also from the Black Concept. If memory serves, and I guess we can do a count at the end of this, I'm missing maybe six cards? I think it might, sh it might look like seven when we do the count, but I do have another one on the way, but I think it's six total. And then for solo cards, we have the Sola Unso unit and the Bona Exe unit. So yeah, still just need this Bona Solo unit, and that's the card I actually have on the way. It's honestly probably going to arrive before this video is posted, but I just didn't want to wait any longer. I wanted to get this filmed and to start the edit, so I didn't really feel like waiting much longer. And it gives me one, one card to start with for the next one. No Bona Blue concept. That one's really hard to find. But we do have a f one blue unit, which is the Bona X unit. So unit number four. These numbers are based on kind of age order. Um, I'm only collecting four units, so we get the three solo units. And then because I had like pulled one of the units, was it the, I think it must have been this unit in my album, I just decided to get all of the XE Bono units. So that's what we're doing. Okay, and then finally we have the white concept where we have, looks like, really am I missing? Yes, that's right, I am missing two white cards. Okay, so we have XE's card and Unso's card. I'm glad I put names down because I could not remember who is older for a second, XE or Bona. And then we are finishing the white units. So we have Sola and Bona, and then we have Sola and Unso. And like I said, I don't know for sure. I guess once again, I'm having a bit of a, a crisis of confidence with this WJSN collection, just because there's like a lack of new stuff to like excite me to collect but I, I just really like this album and all the photo cards. So I've committed myself to get this. And then if I ever decide that I don't want to continue on, at least I'll have like one full like comeback set. That'll, that'll make me feel good. So that is that for this section. Oh wait, not quite, not quite. I forgot, even though it's right next to my hand, I forgot I did have one other card, which is so this is kind of a whim. Um, this is the Yunjung XE unit. And I got it mostly because those were the two people that I pulled in my my copy of Unnatural. And since they had a unit together, I was just kind of like, well, that's fun. Why don't I just get that? And, um, you know, like everything, this needs to be probably better organized, but so I'm just going to put that there for now. I just felt like it would be fun to get a unit to match the, the cards I pulled from my album. So now we have a couple cards for the everyone else, everyone else. I'm going to put in a new page preemptively and we're going to do a bit of reorganizing because I'm double sided like everything in here and it's just sort of, it's not how it should be. And I do have some thoughts on how to like fix this up a little bit. Let's start uh, with the cards I already have. So I'm gonna, we've got our couple Espa Girls cards. These are both Sinbi from Walpurgis Night. And then eventually I'm gonna have both Baekhyun cards. Maybe I'll just do like Taeyeon and XID on the back.
Again, some of this is just me like trying to conserve space. I don't have like pretty much any extra pages. I actually do have a couple other cards I could theoretically put away if I had space, but I just, I don't have the pages. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna save those for next time. And you guys haven't seen them. They weren't in my like Mercari haul. So it's not like I'm not putting away anything you guys have seen before. But the last two things are these couple cards from some albums that I don't usually get. So if you watched my Ive unboxing, you'll know that I got Ray's double-sided card from the special edition. And then I also picked up a copy of the Seraphim's Unforgiven album. I actually pulled Unche in that album, but Sakura is my bias. Kind of was like in my top three when they were in Eyes one, along with Yujin from Ive and probably Unbi, I would say, were probably my top three in that group, at least by the end of it. And so I really liked Unforgiven, and since Sakura is my bias, I wanted to trade for, for her card. So that's the, you probably didn't need to know story about why I have a Sakura card. There actually is another Sakura card I wanna get from her Eyes One era, it'll, uh, I think I talked about this once before. So I'm getting these Baekhyun cards because of the the Nintendo controller that's in both of them. These are from his City Lights album. And then one of the Ice One albums, Sakura actually is holding a like purple Game Boy Color. And I just, because I'm an old Nintendo nerd and a K-pop fan and a Sakura fan, I just kind of want to have it but like so many cards it's sort of in demand kind of hard to get we'll see but it is on my my wish list so maybe one day you will see that card join everything else in this binder like i said uh this binder isn't that full yet so this might become the temporary home for the new odd eye circle stuff we'll see i'm like i said i'm not really sure what i'm committed to collecting for that group Obviously, with it being Kim Lip, I'm absolutely collecting all of her cards, but it will depend on what else there is out there, whether I get anything more than, than just her. But yeah, so that is it. We're up to five binders now, if you can believe it. Let me, um, let me get them all out in front of us, and I will we'll wrap this up. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got a few more things kind of on my list of videos to make in the very near future, so you'll probably be hearing from me again. Hopefully you guys don't get sick of me. Also, I am planning to do a like channel Q&A video in the not too distant future. I do have a Google form on the channel, but I'll also probably leave a link in the description for this video if you want to submit a question for me to answer. I can't promise that I will answer everything, but I'm always curious to hear what you guys have to say. So again, I hope you enjoyed it and until the next video, so long.